Let's have a threesome. Fountain pen shootout. Okay, so here we go with these three pens, and I thought that it would be uh, interesting to, uh, to, to show these off side by side, because they're all variations on a theme. So they're all... I'll be very polite. They're all very strongly influenced by Sailor. Um, and we have three versions here. We have the Monteverde Monza, right? Uh, which uh, which was actually sent to me by Goldspot. So, just so you know. Then there was the Lingmo Lorelei, which is this one, sent to me by Bill. And the Jinhao 992, also sent to me by Bill. Um, clearly, three very, very similar pens, and yet there are certain differences. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you some of these. One of the most interesting ones, I think, is that the uh, Lingmo has a completely different clip from the other two. Let me try to show you this up close. So here we have the Lingmo Lorelei, uh, the Monteverde Monza, and the Jinhao 992. So these have identical clips, right? This is the Monteverde, I really think, is a, a rebranded uh, Jinhao 992. Um, of course, different inscriptions on the center bands, which makes sense. The Lingmo has Lingmo, Monteverde, Monteverde, and on the other side, uh, Monza. And the uh, uh, Jinhao 992 has Jinhao on one side and nothing on the other side. Um, same thing with the Lingmo. There's no Lorelei on the other side. So, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about some other differences. One important difference, I have to make sure I get the caps right here. Uh, so here you have the uh, the Lingmo, the um, Monza, and the Jinhao 992. Um, different nibs. So from left to right, Lingmo Lorelei, the um, Monteverde Monza and then the Jinhao 992. Uh, they are different nibs and the feeds are different as well. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the Lingmo has this sort of, it is a clear feed but has a different bottom uh, than the other two which are uh, more traditional feeds. Um, I'm going to recap them because it makes me a bit nervous to, to shake them around so much. So there was that, then there is the uh, the Monza, and then we have that, that Jin Hao. Um, and the Jin Hao, I'm just, I just saw a spot of ink, just want to wipe that off. The Jin Hao is interesting because it actually has a black feed, whereas the other two have clear feeds. Another thing I noticed is that um, you can see this bluish or, or turquoise tint in the um, Jin Hao. Interesting thing is actually that this pen seems to have some sort of internal, uh, maybe it's an, I, I guess it's a nib collar, on the inside there, which actually catches ink. So ink gets captured there and stays in. And once it's caught, uh, it, it discolors the, uh, the, the section. So it's possible you can unscrew it. I have just found out that you can in fact unscrew it so that's not bad because that means that you can actually clean that um, but so there is that now having said that they're all interesting pens but the prices are actually very very different so starting at the top here with the Jinhao 992 you can have this on eBay for about a dollar and fifty cents the uh, Monteverde Monza um, is 16 uh, and then there is the Lingmo Lorelei, uh, which you have to look around for a bit. I've seen them for twelve dollars. I've seen them for about ten dollars. So it, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you can get that a little cheaper too. But the price range is incredible. I mean, one fifty versus sixteen. That's uh, quite a considerable difference in price for what is basically the same pen. Um, but the real question, I guess, that you might have is, but how do they write? So let's compare them. 
side by side and let's just see. All of them are inked with Rohrer und Klingner Scabiosa, which happens to be an iron gold ink, but there you have it. Okay, let's start with this one, the Lingmo Lorelei. Sorry, Lorelei, E-I. Fairly smooth nib. Not a gusher, but it's not super dry, so it's quite nice. And as to springiness, always very careful, but there is some spring to this. And you can do a bit of reverse writing. Uh, and you know what, just for the uh, sake of clarity, this is the Lorelei, so we're going to call that around $10 on eBay. Then we have the Monteverde Monza. I feel a little bit more feedback in this nib. I find it is slightly... Uh, it's not really scratchy, but it is not as smooth as the Lorelei is. Still, a pretty wet writer, line variation, definitely is some, and reverse writing is scratchier. And there we have $16. And then you have the Chin Hao. 992 and I think what's interesting to note here let me just finish this sentence is that as if you look at the color of the inks and I will post a picture uh, of the of the writing sample on the uh, post on the website it looks to me like this is the most saturated writer, the ink is the darkest followed, so the Monteverde Monza is followed by the Lingo Lorelei and this Jinhao 9 and 2 is the least saturated, but I do find it to be the smoothest of the three nibs, which is interesting. Why? Because it is by far the cheapest writer. Does pretty adequate reverse writing and is a dollar fifty. So very interesting, very interesting, I think. Now, the question is which one to buy? Well, obviously up to you, you can go for the cheapest one, you can go whatever. Um, in this case, I actually like the writing of the cheapest one best. So that was the uh, the uh, uh, Jinhao 992. But in all, what do you get? Well, you get an inexpensive pen. Uh, it feels like a pretty cheap pen. The plastic feels very plasticky. It's, it's, it's not the world's most solid pen. It does not feel like a $500 pen, but it is not a $500 pen either. So realistically, I think you get a pretty good bang for your buck. So I, I do think this is an interesting set of pens, and I hope that the comparison of the three side by side is going to be interesting and of use to people as they decide which of these they may want to purchase. So I hope this was useful. Thanks to everyone who sent me these pens, and um, that's all us to it. I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Bye.